Hey guys, welcome back to another video of the day. I've been hearing about this guy, Glenn Kamara, who has been racially abused by Andre Cadella. And Andre is basically the defender of Salvia. Now, it's been shown and it's been evident that Glenn was indeed racially abused. And do you know what, guys? I myself, I will put a stand. And you know what's worse? All of this racial abuse also clashes with social media. This has been going on online as well. All of the abuse, all of the drama, all of the media that constitutes in this one big cluster fog. Look around us right now. Look around us. I mean, look at George Floyd. Look at that situation with him involved with the police and how how he suffered with lack of oxygen because the police had pressed him down too hard. Now, guys, I don't want to get into the George Floyd thing because I'm not in the mood to talk about that, but I only wanted to mention it because it's just an example of how people would depict racism, but that's a completely different story so I want to explain that or in fact I might just mention it in a live stream and not day one like a video about it but this is about this this whole Glenn Kamara thing no sorry Kamara uh, it's getting beyond a joke to me because racism is something that should have been done centuries ago but obviously because you've got these people who who are bullies who have been brought up with fucked up families and once again, guys, we are not perfect. We're imperfect. We are the people who are unique. We have potential. But most of us don't really take advantage of that, do we? No. I obviously want to proceed in the future. I obviously want to take part in this good side and not, and not stand around in the negative side. Because why would I? Do you know what I mean? Why would I? It's just going to cause me to commit suicide. Do you know what I mean? Thinking about negativity is essentially like eating poison. That's what it's like. It's the same with negativity. If you're eating rotten tomatoes all day, you'd be sick, right? Exactly. So, I have to ask the government, why are they not doing anything about it? I mean, they're just sitting there, they're nothing. Essentially, just watching this whole thing happen within a second. It's... Why aren't the governed bodies doing anything about this? Why aren't the fucking managers doing anything about this? And most of all, why can we, why can we ourselves put a stop to this? Because, guys, they're not going to do anything unless we hold up that red flag. Unless we show concern to the world. Obviously, we're doing that, but it's, it's just them, guys. We need to get it through their thick skulls. So let's get it through their thick skulls. Let's shoot a bullet inside them. Let's just, let's just shout it out. Shout the name out. Racism sucks. Racism needs to be ended. Obviously, we can't end racism because that's, that's kind of a primitive thing in human beings. Because humans are inquisitive. They're curious. They make assumptions and um, that's just what happens in the limbic system of the brain. And um, the, whole, the whole thing about brains are, is complicated. Because see, if you try and control a brain, it, it, it won't work because when you're strictly trying to drag into a completely heavy schedule and that's how and why the brain can't really hold that capacity. So what you need to do is basically take it day, day by day as you go and that's what I'd say to folks. Try to take your time when you're trying to manage like your mental health and stuff like that. I know it hurts but that, that's what I would essentially tell everybody because human beings, we are just, we're organic and it takes time for us to hold much capacity to manage our brains but it's just, people are different because they can't, they, how do I say, they can't resist holding it in and this is why we've got this, this is why this is why Glenn, 
This is why Glenn got accused, because Andre couldn't keep his fucking mouth shut. This is why racism of Rangers in this football situation is getting deteriorating. It's getting worse. And this is what I find about football. It's supposed to be a kick-off game. It's not supposed to be something that we all fight over. It's supposed to be a game, guys. It's supposed to be something that we can enjoy. But that's what I noticed about football. Every single person just goes in a riot. I mean, I noticed that when I, with myself when I was 16. I got pissed off because Celtic got beaten by Rangers and that's what pisses me off. And you know what? I learned something. That no team in ever is perfect. Even Barcelona, guys. Don't get me wrong. Barcelona is a great team, but it's not perfect. Nothing's ever perfect. Anyway, I closed my statement in, in this video. I just wanted to say that because you guys, some of you guys kept asking for me to shout out and I just, I just decided to do it. So, I just hope you enjoy yourselves, guys. Stop racism. Let's live our happy lives. And by the way, by the way, again, shout out to Patrick Boys, Andrew Laycock, Kieran Lover, Adam, uh, and William. Yeah, sorry, William. 